Gabón, buenas noches. Comenzamos la rueda de prensa del señor Mois. Seguiremos el formato habitual de los últimos partidos. Preguntas en castellano, en euskera y en inglés. Cuando queráis. Gracias. Buenas noches, David. Buenas noches. ¿Qué valoración haces de un partido que habéis empezado ganando y que luego, a pesar del empate, lo habéis acabado jugando contra uno más? Ok. Uh, first game played, uh, first half played very well. And I think should have been at least 2-0 ahead at half time. Maybe three. But uh, we had great energy, played well in the first half. Typical derby, but we dropped our energy in the second half. Athletic uh, improved after half time. And uh, we just couldn't quite, quite get the second goal. I think if we had got the second goal, it would have made a big difference. And we didn't get the second goal. And even in the last minute, when Athletic were down to 10 men, we had. Uh, We had a great chance to maybe make, to win the game in the last minute, and we didn't take it. Hablas de un buen primer tiempo, de un segundo en el que no han salido las cosas tan bien. ¿A qué achacas ese ese cambio? Uh, we drop we dropped a level of energy. We have to play with the same intensity for 90 minutes, not 45, not 60, not 70, but 90. I've told the players. I think if we had played the way we had in the first half for the second half, I think we'd have won the game. But uh, we're growing together. I think there were some good signs tonight, especially in the first half. There were some good signs about how we played. You know, we made good chances. We didn't take them tonight. But uh, I thought it was an improvement. It was certainly an improvement on our, on our performance at Villarreal. Mr. Moyes, yeah. eh, después de lo visto en el día de hoy, ¿cree que su equipo ha dado un paso adelante en, esa, en ese camino que tiene que llevar hacia la mejoría que usted busca o no hemos mejorado suficientemente todavía? I think we've made a step ahead. But we haven't improved enough. We, we have to make big improvements. But I think the players are trying really, really hard to do so. Uh, their training has been great. I thought their attitude tonight was very good to try and uh, win the game. We just didn't quite have enough to win it. We had the chances to win it, but we didn't. And also, I think we're playing against a good team. I think Athletic have got some very good players. And they're a good team. But I expected us tonight to be the stronger team in the second half. Athletic had a midweek game in the Champions League. I expected us to get stronger in the second half. So that's a little disappointing. We got stronger when they went to 10 men, but not, not in the, the main part of the second half. David. Habla, habla de que el equipo ha mantenido una intensidad durante quizás 45 minutos que lo ideal sería mantenerla durante 90. No sé si puede haber también un problema de capacidad física del equipo para mantener esa intensidad durante un partido completo. No sé cómo lo ve. Yeah, that's what that's what I am alluding to. I'm alluding to that you know we need to be able to do that. We have to be able to reach that. But we're in the middle of the season just now, and we can't change change big things. We can only change small things. And uh, I want us to pass the ball better. I thought we, I thought we'd done some good things in the first half, but not so good at times in the second half. So there's a lot of things we want to improve, just not the physical things, just not the intensity, but also the passing, the control of the game. So there's a lot of things to work on, but I have to say I'm really enjoying working with the players. I've really enjoyed my first derby tonight, Bass Derby, and uh, I look forward to many more. But uh, I'm a little disappointed I didn't. Take all three points tonight. Eh, David, eh, no sé si le molesta especialmente que el gol encajado 
haya sido en un error de marca un jugador que, que no ha seguido a, a su hombre? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with you, but nearly every goal in football is my fault. You know, it's the way football is, but the job is to try and correct it, not to let it happen again. And uh, we had done an awful lot of good things defensively tonight. We defended very well, but at that moment we turned off, and uh, it was costly. Uh, the goal was costly. Eh, David, eh, en, la, en la segunda parte se te ha visto protestar o bastante enfadado con las decisiones arbitrales, sobre todo del linier. No sé qué, qué opinión te merece hoy el, el arbitraje del partido. No, no, I wasn't angry about the referee. I thought the referee had a, I thought the referee had a very good game tonight. I thought he handled the game at a, a very good tolerance level, not too low. And I've seen some games handled with a tolerance level just too low, but I thought tonight he handled it at a very good level. For me, the, the big thing was we're not talking about the referee tonight, we're talking about the game. And that gives you an indication, I think, about the referee's performance. I thought he was very good tonight. Sí, buenas noches. Me gustaría preguntarle qué le ha parecido la actuación de eh, Alfred Fimogason. Mm -hmm. I thought he'd done uh, a lot of good work for the team, his energy. It was important that he, that he gave the team uh, a focal point tonight, but also gave us good energy from the front. I thought he'd done that. And he had one or two chances. And uh, he is a goal scorer. And I'm more than hopeful that, that he'll get his goals. I'm, I'm sure he'll score goals. That's the type of player he is. But more, more importantly, I think uh, he put in a big effort for the team tonight, which was was good. Y me gustaría también preguntarle por el tema de las jugadas a balón parado que tanto se ha hablado de la Real que no sacaba bien los cornes y las faltas. En la primera parte se ha visto cómo el movimiento del equipo ha terminado con el remate de Íñigo Martínez y luego eh, Sergio Canales ha lanzado una falta con barrera. ¿Es otro de los aspectos positivos que se puede ver del partido? Inigo Martínez has a in, in England we would call it a sitter so as a sitter do you understand that in Spanish I don't know if there's a word for it but uh, a big chance to, to make it 2-0 and Sergio Canales as well in the last minute to, to maybe win the game late on but at least the set pieces were better than, than they have been in recent games the, the delivery and uh, attacking the balls been very poor so uh, Tonight, at least we made some chances from them. Sí, si no hay preguntas en, en Euskera, que creo que no hay ningún periodista. Vale, empezamos con las preguntas en inglés. Yeah. English yeah. questions. In English. In English. In English. One of the things that was striking, I imagine it's partly just a product of the tension in the last 10 minutes or so, but certainly the last 10 minutes you were, you were much more um, obviously gesticulating to players, giving instructions. Yeah. So I wondered if you were perhaps a little frustrated that it seemed to sometimes lack imagination those last 10 minutes there yeah. was quite a, there was three or four deliveries in a row from the right hand side for example yeah. but it was almost as if was, there wasn't another idea no I was I was disappointed with a couple of quality crosses we had in the last 10 minutes there was good opportunities and I thought when we had the extra player we had to find a way of getting round them a little bit more but I was a little bit frustrated at the end you know there was we were down to probably the last knockings last seconds and you know I couldn't get him to take the free kick to, to get it up the pitch at the last second. But, you know, there's small things and, uh, you know, it, it's me at the end, you know, just desperately trying to get a win. But it's also me maybe at my best as well. It's maybe them seeing, beginning to see, you know, that, you know, I, I want to see it from them. I want I want that uh, urgency, that willingness to, 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 you know, to do it quickly, to get on with the game. We had a, a numerical advantage at that point, uh, 11 v 10, it's one each in the derby. I wanted us to, to you know, 
do everything we could to try and score. And yeah, we had a with a ball in the box at the end, which maybe with a knockdown might have got us the got us the goal, but not enough. We had two or three good opportunities to deliver good balls in and we didn't do so. How do you approach the cup game now, David? Is it is it absolutely vital to stay in the competition to keep everyone up, or is it? Well, I think I think it's really important that we we we're in the cup. Uh, I've said all along, you know, I'd love to have a great run in the cup, uh, but it's also an opportunity. We, we, I'm I'm trying to build some momentum. We want to try and start winning some games, so it's important we do win in the cup. And uh, I've got a squad of players which I'll use again. We've got three games this week. And ultimately, and it's easy to say, but ultimately the league has always got to, be, got to be. I think it would have been slight. If we take three points tonight, it's different. Now we're at, you know, we're sort of hard, we've got to be where I set a little bit on Levante as well and on Saturday's game. But we've got a difficult game against Obey down the cup in midweek. Thank you very much. Thank you.